Good morning, welcome to Connect Daily Bread, where we recognize that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Today's reading is Romans chapter 4, uh, and again, go ahead and read that on your own time, and uh, I'll share some thoughts on it. So in Romans 4, we see uh, Paul laying out very clearly that Abraham is the father of both the circumcised and the uncircumcised, remembering that that uh, was a big division and distinction in the church at Rome at that time. And really we see consistently throughout the New Testament. And Paul just really unpacks this case. And he lays out that um, in Genesis 15, 6, what we talked about yesterday, the words Abraham believed and it was credited to him as righteousness came before uh, circumcision. And he asked some questions to bring that about. Uh, And so that idea that those words uttered by God about Abraham came 14 years before circumcision. So he makes a really clear case that uh, Abraham is the father again of of those who who believe. Those are the true sons and daughters of Abraham. Those who believe God in a way that leads to right living, that affects action. And we see that being the case with Abraham, right? He's told, you know, to to take his family and go to a land that the Lord had promised, and that belief led to led to action. And he's told uh, at a hundred years old that uh, God's going to make him a father of many nations. And it tells us that. He faced the facts. He faced the facts that his body was as good as dead, yet in hope he held on to what God had to say. And I'm certain that there was uh, doubt and skepticism there. We see that show up uh, throughout the story of Abraham and Sarah. Yet amidst the doubt, as Adam was talking about on Sunday, um, doubt is a normal part of the faith. They chose to hold on to hope that God was able to bring about what he promised to bring about. Um, and because of that, they got to experience Isaac and the whole world got to experience hope and blessing uh, because God made an incredible promise through this guy. He said that uh, not only would he be a father of many nations, but that he would be a blessing to all people. And it is through Abraham that a Jewish nation came through um, who had the promises and the blessings of God and got to model and experience God's goodness, his power, his love, and is through that Jewish nation that, that Jesus um, chose, to, chose to come. And so there is, there is now a, a promise. The, the true Abraham uh, is Jesus, and we, he's been the sacrifice once and for all for all of mankind, and we're told that at the end of the chapter that he was delivered to death for our sins, and he was justified. He was raised from the dead for our justification. And that is the sure hope that we hold on to today and now and going forward. Uh, and there's, there's going to be challenges today and, and every day as we walk out this life that is true life. Um, but we have an opportunity to hold on to hope, hold on to that reality amidst those doubts, as Adam was talking about on Sunday, that um, God responds favorably and works through a faith that in humility says, I believe, help my unbelief. Um, So that's my encouragement today, to hold on to that hope in a way that allows God to bless you and cause us to be a blessing to others. So those are my thoughts. Love you guys. Have a good day.